Hey, what's up, Ironers? I'm here with another video, and this is Alyssa. Hey there. And we are here to look at the copyright, well, copy strike allegations. Um, and PewDiePie kind of said what he needs to say. We're gonna look at PewDiePie's video after this one, but we're gonna just. This is like her response to PewDiePie in the dark side of the Pokemon video and her apology and stuff. I guess. So let's check it out. Cooper, I have no idea how I'm gonna record this video today. I like how she started off with a joke. So she's not even taking herself seriously. So, so yeah. I gotta respect that part. She's like at least with the meme, like it's pretty funny. But. Okay, I'm so sorry. Hello friends, there's been a lot of talk recently about copy striking, cleaning videos, um, etc. And I want to sit down, have an open and honest chat with you guys so that nobody feels like I'm just avoiding it or not responding to things. Um, and regardless of whether you're a subscriber of mine or you come to another channel, I hope you watch the full video. I want to try to give you guys my point of view, uh, the facts from my end, and give any type of clarity that I can. Because I do think that there are some really important points for me to hit on and uh, own up to, and there are also some misconceptions that I would like to clarify. There's two main things that I want to go over. The first one obviously being the point that PewDiePie mentions in his latest video. To give some context, basically me and Keepstar had a bit of like Twitter beef uh, a couple months back. I should have known better than to start any kind of altercation with that man. You live and you learn. So uh, we had an exchange on Twitter, there were some tweets, there were some videos, etc, etc. I believe Keemstar deleted his side of things like within 24 hours, so that was all gone. Um, but someone had re-uploaded and put together everything that was from Twitter and they uploaded it to YouTube. So Bo Black strung together all the tweets and videos from Twitter and just re-uploaded it to YouTube with no editing or commentary or voiceover. That video was getting a lot of traction at the time and just being completely honest with you guys, I kind of wanted to be over with all the petty drama. PewDiePie actually hit the nail right on the head. So in a way, I can understand why you want to tape down this video because this selected thing blows up and becomes even bigger. The re-upload of the Twitter beef wasn't transformative content, so I was able to get it taken down through my MCN. But again, PewDiePie was in the right by saying, But the problem here is that you're just drawing more attention to it. Trying to like hide all that drama <laughs> only ended up bringing more attention to it. Again, in the moment, I was just doing that because I thought it was something that would calm down all the drama. But I think the video was re-uploaded within 24 hours and they asked if I wanted to get it taken down again, but I just said that it was fine to leave it. Although I was legally within my right to take down the video, Morally, and as a content creator, it wasn't something that I should have done because, I mean, at the end of the day, those are tweets that me and Keem made publicly and videos that we made publicly. So I totally apologize for that. And I spoke to the guy who made those videos like a few weeks back and we had resolved all of this in DMs. He's really nice and me and him are on good terms. He understands that I had no ill intent towards him. Um, or his channel through my actions and I understand that him uploading and re-uploading that video and talking about the issue he didn't necessarily have any ill intent towards me either so we're good on that front also I want to say that all in all I think it's good that we're talking about this kind of stuff whether it be copy striking or creating videos or anything along those lines because at the end of the day it's better for the whole ecosystem of content creation if we talk about this kind of stuff open and honestly and talk about what's okay or what's not um, even when you make mistakes I appreciate being called out in that sense but there are also a lot of things that uh, I want to talk about and hopefully clear the air so we'll move on to numero dos the second situation arose from a live stream where there was a guy in my chat who was promising like five thousand dollars worth of gifted subs uh, if I said his name so I did he ended up lying and then um, we ended up speaking over voice chat and I found out that he had like a Twitch compilation channel which I then showed on my stream as well. It's literally all me. Okay, like 50% me. Oh yeah. And people have been using clips from that live stream to try to make it look like I randomly take down videos whenever I want or I do that commonly when it's definitely not the case. I want to put it out there that I never knowingly take down a video that is tricked. She's lying. She's straight up lying. She said wow. that 
She's lying. She said she doesn't go around taking videos down, but just said you got your MCN to take videos down. This whole apology just fell apart. This isn't not this response is horrible. Wow. <laughs> You're digging no, yourself in the hole. This apology is just trying to make herself look good. Yeah, it's just to make her look good. I have to I'ma listen to it just to understand some more, but transformative content. I would not take down videos that people have spent time like creating commentary for and editing and piecing together. I don't think that's fair at all. And obviously that's why there's tons of videos out there, um, Twitch compilations where I'm still in them, or critiques of me or drama or videos that I'm in that are positive or negative that I don't take down. Um, specifically in that scenario, that guy was making videos that are just re-uploads of my stream and he was just using really gross or inappropriate titles and clickbait just to get views. Okay, here's the thing. He has to upload the entire to be the all right, so you stream maybe five to six hours a day. I don't know how long you stream, Pokey. But you can't if you stream for six hours and he only takes thirty seconds, maybe a minute, even if you took an hour of your stream and re-uploaded, it's technically still kind of fair use because he didn't take the entire video. Do you understand right. what's going on? Like it's not without it's not outside of the legal grounds in that gray area until you take the entire piece of content if he's not re-uploading entire streams if he's just uploading highlights that's exactly what they sound like they're highlights that means they're pieces of your stream if you stream for eight hours and someone only uploads 10 minutes of the a 10 minute highlight of your whole six hour stream, you can't be mad. And if anything, you should be happy that people take the time out of their day to repost the best parts of your stream because guess what? That ultimately gets you out there more. But you're willing to take down these channels and then they don't even want to be a fan or don't want to be a viewer or subscriber at all. And you're getting all this black backlash because of this. And hey, for example, you react to people, other people's videos. You, those people you're reacting to can easily come in and say, oh, Pokemon just reacted to my content or used bit, pieces of my content and commentated over. I should get all the money. I should take it down. You're doing this to people when people can ultimately do this back to you. You're playing someone else's video game, right? That's not your game. Someone made that game and you are recording it and making money off of it. But and I mean, like, here's the thing. Like, if you can do it, why can't other people do it? Yeah. Double like, standards. I mean, yeah, it it's double standards and it's kind of fucked up that you call yourself doing the right thing, but you should know. You're a content creator. You should know not to abuse the copyright system. Come on. Pokey oh, Pokey isn't transformative and that is entirely my content um pewdiepie also touched on this a little bit he said that there's been situations where like he will play a game and other people will re-upload it when he wants to use it for his own channel and that's when he takes down those videos there's been times where me myself had to do a copyright strike and i asked people please don't re-upload this video because the only way for me to take it down is to give it a copyright strike and people did it anyway people still re-uploaded the video so in those specific scenarios i sometimes take down videos when it's a straight re-upload of my stream and when it's like a gross and misleading but that's not the same that's not the same you're taking the part you want to hear from PewDiePie he basically was taking down videos of people re-uploading an entire video that's what he's talking about these are not entire videos of your stuff this is like clips you still it's you still I see why this video gets 80,000 views I mean 80,000 dislikes yeah because people like look at that Wow. it's bullshit like what I gotta read these comments real quick be gone receiving criticism from people Pokemon dark side of Pokemon video Pokemon. 
PewDiePie makes a video bad. I am kind of sorry. Kind of sorry. You know when PewDiePie makes a video, you knew you fucked up. Because, like, everyone changes. Why can't these people just apologize? Their egos are way too big. It's so true. Like, yeah. it's so easy for you to get on social media and make money off of it. And then get to the point to where you're egotistical or think you're better and have power over people. Uh, yeah, that dude with he was uh, making fun of on Instagram. Yeah. Why is that that he's ripped in 6'5"? Yeah. <laughs> Why is he Those on Instagram to post fun and the Dave self guy. It finds that he's ripped in 6'5". Haha, <laughs> why are you wearing shorts like that? <laughs> I mean, definitely she probably, know that she, she probably was looking at him. She, like, she probably was like, when she saw that dude and made fun of him on Instagram, she probably looked at it and was like, damn, I'm, I'm, a, I'm <laughs> damn, he's fine, though. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, it's, she's like, oh, dang. you never know who's like, whatever, you know. You know, for someone looks like they've never ridden a bike, she sure as hell does a lot of backpedaling. Oh. Damn. <laughs> These comments are like destroying you, Pokey. <laughs> oh funny. my gosh. Lies about going on guys' Insta to make fun of him. Copy strikes do for using content even though she sits there watching someone's TikToks for 30 minutes. Lies even though there's video evidence of it. That's basically what she did. Lied this entire video. It's so funny. You used to love your content, but after this drama, I'm sorry. You're literally like any other typical e girls. I'm not even mad, just disappointed. No, oh, man. He basically just calls her basic. Yeah. Why don't you just become an actor? Because you're good at being. You're <laughs> good at being fake. Dang. These people don't just. They no, like they, they, can, they don't forgive that. Like, when you do something like that in the YouTube community, they do not forgive it. That, it's like almost like killing yeah. somebody. Um, you can't, like, no. No one wants to watch your whole stream, so people just make clips, highlights, and upload to YouTube. Thank you! Yeah! Who no, wants to who, sit there all day for watch, six hours and, and just watch, watch it play, straight? Yeah, like, play. that's why people take the best parts, put them on YouTube, and that in turn makes you more popular anyway. Even if people don't like you, it makes you more, like, out there. It leads to more viewers coming to your stuff. Leads to more ad revenue and donations. But you still, like, you don't get it, and you're trying to disrupt the creative economy. Like, you, you're trying, no. No. Why are Twitch thoughts always the biggest hypocrites when it comes to copyright striking or their apology videos? Also, I know this was posted like two weeks ago, but I'm barely coming from the dark side of Pokemon video. <laughs> you know, you used PewDiePie's video in this video and you didn't edit his video anyway. Therefore, in your own opinion, he has the right to claim this video. These, they on your ass, Pokey. They really, yep. like, they're not joking, man. Uh-uh. Also, take those down, because my mom really doesn't like seeing them on YouTube searches. Sorry, mom. That don't happen in the camera I, all the time. Also, I don't think I even ended up taking down any of his videos. Uh, I totally forgot to, but I think he uh, privated some of them himself because he knew that they were bad after the conversation that we had. The point of this is just to say, uh, that was an entirely different scenario and situation where I was well within my right to take down his content, but also uh, in that moment and on that live stream. Like, I shouldn't have had that conversation on stream, and oh, it definitely was a moment of frustration that shouldn't have been, like, publicized in that way, for sure. There was also one other small misconception regarding that situation, which was that some people were saying that I pulled up his, like, personal Instagram and made fun of him or something. So what she does is honestly pretty evil. <laughs> but he finds Dabsep's personal Instagram page and then just laughing at pictures of him. He had his Instagram linked in the description of the videos that he was posting, so it was not like a personal or private Instagram. I didn't attack the way that he looked, and obviously he was watching my stream while he was on the call with me, and he saw that I was looking at his Instagram. He said, do you like what you see? Showing off like all this stuff. But yeah, I don't like people trying to make it seem like I would go to someone's Instagram with ill intent just to like bash on them. The only thing I said about any of his photos was that I was laughing at a picture where his shorts looked funny. 
because it was a funny photo. I said nothing about his looks. Why are you wearing your shorts? Of course like you that? didn't. You no, the way she said it and how her voice was and like how her body language is, like you could see all that, like the body language itself, like showed that like she was trying to bash on you. True. Did you hear what she just said? Basically. Uh huh. Like, and her, like you could see in her facial reaction, like why have you dressed like that? Yeah. Like you can literally see <laughs> the body language of it. Yellow shorts. <laughs> Overall, again, it was just a moment of frustration on stream. I hope through this video that I explained my point of view of things. Again, I'm only human. Uh, make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, you, you mean you make mistakes, but, but like, like there's a difference between making mistakes and owning owning up to them, and making mistakes and trying to cover it up. Basically, like she's yeah. not even trying to own up to her own mistakes. No, she's not like, even trying she's to just like, up. she's like, fuck that. But it's not apologize. Let's get on here and justify. And that's why people, it's 80K. And I honestly did not even apologize about that guy on the Instagram. Oh, yeah, she really didn't. She justified it all the way. No, she was just trying to justify for herself. Just not even, like, you could tell, like, in his voice, of, like, his feelings got hurt a little bit. Yeah. Like, like he was upset. Tell. Like, this this content creator is uh, this respectable well not so respectable now but this respectable content creator she was highly respected and she's sitting here I'm making fun of right now. <laughs> yeah she's she's never I don't think she'll ever be respected again for this like this is just something that the YouTube community does not forgive I don't know why. But when it comes, because when you mess with copyright, you're messing with people's hard work. Like people, they post and create content because they're trying to maybe have a chance of getting out there. And here you come fucking up the whole system. You see what I mean? So it, um, it, she, no one's gonna forgive her for that because it's like you're making it harder on everybody when it's already hard. Starting anyway. So it's like, I don't know. I'm not gonna say I'm against you completely. Like I, I mean, I can forgive you for it. Just know the rest of the internet isn't gonna do that. And stop being a hypocrite. And stop being a hypocrite. Like, yeah. You don't have to be some fucking snarky either. Like the whole video, I felt like it's like you're almost asking people to justify what you did, and it's not cool. Like, you feel like you're above everybody else on the platform. You know, there's you can get copyrighted too. You're lucky no one. You're lucky game developers. People who make these games have not went out of their way to try to take you down. They tried to do it with the PewDiePie like nine years ago, but he was one of the first people to do it, uh, and they're still fucking with him till this day. So you, you're lucky. He he took he paved the way for you to be able to play games online with, and make money off of it without fucking people coming. Saying, hey, that's my stuff. Yeah, so if anything, you should respect him and just quit dissing him about all of his work. Yeah, so. Because, in all honesty, like, like, he's the reason you're able to play live with your video games. Yeah, so I think, honestly, like, I'm sorry, Pokey, but. I hope you get terrorized for the rest of, the rest of your YouTube career <laughs> oh my God. or Twitch career. I hope you get terrorized, okay? No sympathy for this bitch. Go after her. Full <laughs> speed. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and uh, you'll see us next time in a couple more.